So I'm just cleaning out my flower bed here and doing some deadheading. So I thought I'd give some tips and tricks on how to deadhead your garden and flower bed depending on your next year plans. So this lily is finished blooming for the season and of course they only bloom once. So what I like to do is make room for what's all everything that's behind it once it's done blooming. So I cut back the stems to about four inches off the ground to leave room for the back. Now this is just for aesthetics. You don't have to do that to make your lily bloom more the next year or be have fuller bulbs. This is just for aesthetics and what I find is it does not affect the next year's blooms. They seem to grow just fine. So I'm going to cut that back and show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so that's trimmed back now. As you can see, I've cut it much shorter. I left a couple of the tall ones because this is their first year of growth. See how they're sort of tall and skinny. So I'm wondering about giving them a little more girth, which maybe adds to the strength of the bulb in the ground. It's left room for my dahlia, which has yet to bloom, which is here. And the lemongrass that I have growing back here. This dianthus is yet to bloom. And then there's some bachelor buttons behind it. The next thing I'm going to do is take care of this gazania. As you can see, there's a spent flower there. New bulb, new bulb, new bloom about to go here. This one's also spent. And believe it or not, that one is just about spent too. And this one. The nice thing about cleaning up the deadheading is obviously to make your flower bed a little bit nicer and it, it encourages more blooms. Now, gazania is something that sometimes will reseed the next year. So when I deadhead a one that looks like it's about to go to seed, like this one, I simply cut off right down at the bottom of the bloom and toss it in behind. That way, if there's seed in there, it can pop up the next year. I'll do the same thing with this wave petunia, which is just a little scraggly. So I was going to look and see if there's anything I need to pop off. And then this also, also this dianthus that is finished blooming will definitely go to seed and come back next year. So I'll cut these off at the bottom of their spent blooms and see if there's a new one coming in. And just toss them in underneath or in the back of the bed if you want it to come back. If you don't, obviously just throw it in the compost bin. Okay, so I'm going to clean that stuff up and show you how that looks.